All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are live from Munich International School today, and we are going to be looking for a line that goes through both point A and point B. Well, if I'm going to find the equation of some line, I know it's going to be R equal to a starting point plus a parameter T with a direction vector. And so either of these can be my starting point, but my direction vector, if I have A here and B somewhere over here, AB is my direction vector. And so I'm going to find first AB. I take my B value and I subtract my A. So 6 minus 1 is 5. Negative 7 minus 3 is minus 10. And 8 minus 17 is 25. So here is my direction vector AB. But one thing I noticed to make the, it simple, I can also say that it is parallel to 1, negative 2, 5. By dividing everything by 5, I can make a smaller vector or a shorter vector so my computations will be easier. So here's my direction vector. So my equation of my line, x, y, z, I can take either point to be my starting point. Let's say 1, 3, negative 17, plus t, 1, negative 2, 5. This is the equation line. In parametric form, it's actually x equal 1 plus t, y equals 3 minus 2t, and z equals minus 17 plus 5t. This is A part answered here. Now, B part says that there's a point P on point P on L such that OP is perpendicular to L. Well, let's think about this. Here is a point P. Point P can be expressed by any value of x, y, and z that satisfies these three equations. So I can say that OP, I want OP to be perpendicular, if here's my origin, is just the position vector of point P. And P, OP, is going to be the vector 1 plus t, 3 minus 2t, minus 17 plus 5t. Now that's the hard part, to recognize that this can be any point on this line AB here. It, any single point can be represented by this series of equations, where this is my x, y, and z. Every point P can be expressed as such. If I want OP to be perpendicular to L, well, L is defined by this vector here, the direction vector. So if I make AB, my direction vector, perpendicular to OP, that happens when my dot product, so AB dot OP, when that equals zero, I get perpendicular lines, or perpendicular vectors. So I'm going to take 1 minus 2, 5, dot product it with 1 plus T, 3 minus 2t, and minus 17 plus 5t. That dot product has to be 0. Doing the math here, I get 1 plus t plus negative 6 plus 4t plus hmm, 5 times 17 is 85 plus 25t equal to 0. Then I solve for t. I get 1t, 5t, so 30t. 1 minus 6 is minus 5, plus 85 is plus 80 equals 0. And so then 30t equals negative 80. Oh, let me check my arithmetic here. Negative 85. Oh, thank you. So this will be negative 85. 
just making sure I don't, and then so my value here will be different. Uh, so I'm going to get negative 90. Oh, I like that better. It makes my computations better. So I get negative 90. So 90, so t equals 3. With that t being 3, I plug it in for t here. It will give me the coordinates of p. So I can take it, let's see, plug it in for p. I go x equals 1 plus 3. As here's my, plug it in for here. Y is equal to 3 minus 2 times 3. And Z equals negative 17 plus 5 times 3, which gives me 4 minus 3 minus 2. And so my point P is 4 minus 3 minus 2. So the key points here is every single point on this line can be expressed by these series of equations, x, y, z. The second part, the dot product of two vectors equals zero when the lines are perpendicular.